Man. Yo, work. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, we got NP Reaper and NP Agony. What up, y'all? How y'all doing? Pretty good, bro. How about you? What's up, bro? Man, I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. I'm glad we got this going, you know? Yeah, that's what's up, bro. Yeah, let me, set up, let me send the live real quick, and I'll set up my phone. Okay, so the one in the red, that's NP Agony? Yeah. Okay. Everybody, MP, yeah, Agony I'm, on the red. I'll make it easier. I'll make it easier. There I'm blue. Go. Okay. MP Reaper in the blue. Um, thanks for joining the live, getting you guys here on Upper Radio. Everybody take a look. Give them a follow. We're going to talk about their music, their artistry, the story. It's going to be a good time. So, first of all, talk about you guys' relation. All right. Um, put Oh, you kind of cut out there. Can you hear me? There you go. All right, it's because my AirPods were in. Shiz, he's still in here. NP Agony. Yeah, is he still in here? Yeah, I can only see me and you. Oh, no way. Yeah. Yeah, um, he's still in. Oh, no, he's not. No, he's not. Oh, damn. On my phone, both of you guys are still on here. Yeah, I think he, I think he left. Let me... Let me go ahead and there we go. I like the red and blue though. That's dope. Yeah, bro. It'd be pretty easy to see us. All right. And then a... You can hear me fine, right? Yo. There we go. Yep. All right. What up? What up, everybody? We got MP What's Reaper up? at MP Agony. I hope my fingers are showing the right spots. Yeah. Um. Man, talk about you guys are both NP. Talk about the relationship there. All right. So should we talk about MP or our relation first? Let's talk about the relation first, and then we go into the MP. Yeah. All right. So, so basically, me, me and uh, Reaper, we grew up together since we were little kids. You know, we're cousins and all that. And um, he, he's the one who got me into music and shit. And, and basically, we're just like brothers. Yeah, that's, okay. that's pretty much it, bro. Um, t yeah, he's my cousin. I started music back in twenty October 2018. On the 29th is when I dropped my first song. And we wanted to make, me and, me and him wanted to make a, a Spanish song. And we did. It was like my fourth song ever made. That shit was ass. So you guys aren't going to hear it because it's gone. <laughs> but that's when I first started introducing him into music. We made this song called Te Amo. It was complete garbage. But at the time, it was heat. <laughs> like, yeah. But like, if you heard it now, you'd be like, dude, this is some this is some dog shit. Te Amo. Which means, yeah, means was, I love you, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we, okay. So we, you guys... We both, we both sound funny as hell because he didn't even hit puberty yet. Because I'm 18. <laughs> I'm 18. And he's... How old are you? 15? <laughs> He's he just turned fifteen. Okay, so. okay. Happy birthday! Thank you, bro. Okay, damn. So there is a couple year uh, different there. Um, so NP, what does that mean? Uh, Newbury Park, where we're from, we grew up there. Like we stayed there our half half our lives and shit. Um, we're just trying to represent our where we're from and shit. You know. I hear that. Yeah. Yeah. We, it's called, yeah, it's Newbury Park, uh, California. It's in Thousand Oaks. And um, it's, it's, it's a pretty nice area, but we're, we're both from a family that's, that's um, gang related. Like, so we're, we're, we're a big part of that. And because we're from a place, my family is from a place called Las Casitas, which is the bad part of it. La Casitas. So, yeah, Las Casitas. And literally, if you look it up, it's called, like, the immigrant neighborhood because that's where all the immigrants hang out and shit. Because... Yeah. So okay. It's really, it's really ghetto there. <laughs> um, And do you guys speak Spanish? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I speak a lot of Spanish because half my family members that I live with speak Spanish. Yeah, I, I speak the basic amount. He speaks more than me, though. 
Okay, and when you guys put out that the Yamo song, was that the only one that was Spanish? You don't have any available? No, I have, yeah. I have a Spanish song. If you go, if you go on my SoundCloud, I have a song called "Amor de mi vida," and that's a Spanish song. But other yeah. than that, we've never dropped a song that was Spanish together. Okay, so NP Agony, you got into music because of NP Reaper, right? Yeah. Okay. And when was this time frame? Like 2018, 2018, 2019. 2018, 2019. So y'all been grinding since then? Yeah. yeah well, we've we been, had, I've uh, been because for, I, I've tried. Yeah, yeah I stopped of, for a moment. and But he kept on making music. And I just started getting back into it and all that, you know? And do you guys, um, you guys are cousins, you guys, you guys grew up with each other, you guys are like brothers, and you're 15, and P, Reaper, you're 18, but do yeah. you guys have the same goal right now at this moment as far as the music? Ours, honestly, my goal, my goal right now is just to get the people around us to listen to it. That's the, I think, the hardest thing, because one thing I realize that I've told my friends, too, because it's obvious, is that the people you know, for some reason, are the ones that don't support the most. <laughs> was that a snippet? Nah. <laughs> no. What, what the fuck was that, bro? Was it an ad? Nah. I accidentally pressed the play button, bro. My fault. Hey, yo, so NP means Newsbury, uh, Newsbury Park, right? Newsbury. Yeah. Newberry. Yeah, it's spelled N U W N E W B U R Y. Okay, and then it start with you, Reaper. Why uh, that name, Reaper? Um, that's actually a funny story. I got that name back in middle school, in eighth grade, because I used to like fighting with my friends. Like we would do it for fun. It'd be our thing because that was every kid's thing in middle school. Like who's the toughest? So we fi I'd fight them. And I was the strongest one. And I would grab them and slam them to the ground. And they started calling me the Grim Reaper because they said I'm going to end up killing them. And they said I'm going to end up killing someone. So then they started calling me Reaper. And that's how it stuck since. Wow, since middle school, huh? Yeah, since eighth grade. Oh, so that name is stuck around. It ain't going nowhere. Yeah, that, that name is not going. And, uh, is, I was, I was going to ch change it. I was going to change it to my... Because my middle name is Alexander, and I was going to change it to Xander, but there was someone with that name already, so I okay. decided to just keep my name. And is there a reason why uh, the A is a four, or are you just having fun with it? Uh, I think it's just I think it's just different. I think it's because most artists don't have numbers and shit in their name. And I thought like, it stand out a little bit. Yeah, I think it's pretty dope. Uh, with MP Agony, you're up next. Why Agony? Oh, uh, honestly, I. I just chose it. It was a random thing. We were coming up with a name. And we both, both me and Reaper saw Agony would be a good fit. Yeah, because even though we were both looking for a name for him, once we, like, found Agony, like, I thought of the word Agony for it, and I was like, that's good because, like, he knows what Agony means. I know what Agony means. And it, it really does express how we used to feel, especially growing up and shit. Yeah. All right, dope. So we got the origins there with the names. Um, are you guys, if you were to create like a collective, if this is something in your guys' mind, would you guys still continue like with the NP being in front of the name, especially if you have artists around your area? Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I think only because NP isn't getting treated like a collective. It's more of like a personal thing to us. Like uh, NP in reality only means something to us. Like other people, like they're not really gonna see the NP how we see it. They're gonna just call me like my friends just call me Reaper, and just mm -hmm. call him Agony. Mm -hmm. But we like we got the NP to us because we know where we're from. And do you guys think that you'll continue just having the NP in front of your name, or you think eventually you'll just go by Reaper and Agony? No, no I think I'm gonna keep the NP. Yeah, I I like it with the NP. Okay. Okay. So, uh, MP Reaper, your song Switchblade, which I think is a great record, dude. Uh, especially, you. especially because you self-produced it. Go ahead and talk to us about behind the song, behind the record. 
All right, so Switchblades, one day I was just making a beat. It's not that big of a story. Like, believe it or not, it's not that big. Um, I just made the beat, whatever. It was like 3 a.m. I was probably laying down because I don't go to sleep till like 6 a.m. So <laughs> I made that beat, and I used to actually own a Switchblade. So this song, even though I just dropped it, this song was made in 2020. Oh, Whoa. Wow. So it's old. Whoa. It's old. I, re- I released this song on an album that I kept up for a day, and then I took it down. But the song has been, like, remastered and everything, so it sounded like shit back then. Okay, but, okay. Anyways, I kept the Switchblade, and at that time, I had just gotten out of a really bad relationship. And, um, like, that girl used to threaten me and shit. So that's what the bar, like, uh, at the end where the girl wants me to blow my brains out. That's technically what that means because that's used, that's how I used to feel when I was in that relationship. Like, I just wanted to end it, but it was my first real relationship, so I didn't know what the fuck to do. Like, I didn't know how to end it or anything. I was in that relationship when I got the name Reaper. In wow. Back in middle school. Oh. So I was already in that relationship while I was in middle school. So it was like, I didn't know how to leave it. Yo. So that's why I put that line like she wants me to blow my brains out because that's how it made me feel like god damn I want to leave this I don't want to be a part of this but um, the, swi- the switch blade in my pocket that's just catchy like I had a switch blade like for so I was like alright got the switch blade tucked to my pocket and then I, I traded that shit for an Xbox controller uh, <laughs> I like that I like how you I like the whole song <laughs> Uh, with the beat, but man, when you say, I know where I'm going, that dog, when you when you hit those notes, bro, like, how was it recording it? Oh, okay. So the way I record is I record on my phone. Back then, I would still I've always recorded on my phone. I record on GarageBand with headphones. Like I've seen a lot of artists on this too. It's like I taught myself. And I probably recorded that. I don't know. I don't remember exactly where, but most places I record is either in a room or a car. So one of those is where I recorded. And shit, the recording process, it could take hours upon hours. Or sometimes it takes, like, it depends on my mood. Like, <clears throat> sometimes I, I could feel like I have it and I go record, but I sound like shit at the moment. I'm like, fuck. Mm. And sometimes I don't want to record, and I'll record. I'm like, this is fucking amazing. This sounds good as fuck right now that I don't. <laughs> or sometimes vice versa. Sometimes I feel like I got it right now, and then it's perfect. Mm. Or I don't got it, but I try to self-discipline myself to record, and then I don't got it. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to record tonight. So the process with that song is usually most of my songs have multiple tr- like multiple like tries because I don't stick to the first try. But I think that one was only like two tries. So that one was pretty fast. Wow. Wow. And I think I did record that one in my room. And I stuck with Apple headphones. But then I bought a fucking offer up some cheap like Beat Studio One headphones. And I would record with that mic. So it's technically the same shit. Got recorded with headphones, no professional mic. Man. That sounds so good being like that, you know? And I like how you got it done no matter what. Yeah. Okay, and you did... Go ahead. I, don't, I wasn't going to say anything. So, man, I'm, I, my mind is blown right now. You said you did this it's initially in 2020. Yeah. So it was during the lockdown. Um, MP Agony, what was, where were you at when you first heard the record? Oh, uh, literally... I can't hear I, him. Can you hear him? I didn't catch that. No. Nah. You got any headphones or something? Yo, what'd you say? You got any headphones or something? You're cutting out. No, nah, I don't have any right now. Alright, we'll just talk closer then. You're All cutting right. out a lot. Let me go ahead and uh, repeat the question uh, to you, MP Agony. Um, where were you at, and what were your thoughts on Switchblade? Um, I was just here at my house when Ivan brought up the mentioned it to me that he was making switchblades i was like yo that's that's dope and i heard it and i fucked with it a lot like i fucked with the mixing and all that it's pretty clean 
Yeah, there's a lot of songs. <clears throat> That's the thing, because, um, well, first thing, because I heard him say it, my name is Ivan, so that's me. And he's George. Okay. So so just to clear that up so everyone knows who, which is which. Um, yeah, he's he's heard that song since it first got released. He heard the first version. And have you ever heard of the kid Aiden Hilton? No. Okay, well, he's starting to blow up a little bit. Like, he has, like, 40,000 monthly listeners. But he was originally from here, from Simi. And I used to be friends with him. Oh, wow. But now, now we have, like, beef and shit. Like, he doesn't fuck with me. He's, he's one of those bipolar kids, like, where he starts shit for no reason. In reality, like, since I know him personally, I know how he actually is. But, like, I'm not going to talk shit about him on the internet. Shit, like, whatever, his music shit's going on. But anyways, he was in that song first. He was in Switchblades. And I actually have my old phone. And I wanted to see if I could pull it up. Whoa, what a story a, right there. I have a version with him. I never posted it because once he started, like, kind of getting a little more popular, he started getting cocky as fuck, and he was like, I'm going to take you to court. I'm going to sue you what? for using my name and shit. So, whoa, I didn't, I didn't deal with that. What? We got tunes that saying he met Aiden. What? That's crazy. Aiden Hilton, huh? Yeah, Aiden Hilton used to live out here and see me. That's one thing. Shit. Now that I think about it, it's kind of like talking shit about him. Fuck. <laughs> um, do you guys feel like you could ever uh, get everything back, back to being cool again? Or we, is that water under have, the bridge? We have. Um, you could hear, hear me in my headphones, right? He actually, I can hear you. He actually did a diss on me back in 2020. And we we squashed everything. He that's when I went by Lil Reaper because I used to actually go by that. Here, look. Let me know if you could hear this. Okay. Can you hear it on that one, or is it better on this one? Better on that one. Right. You'll hear. <laughs> anyway, that was a diss he did on me for no fucking reason. So I just him back, and long story short, that this was like 58 seconds, and I was making fun of him about like, oh, it's 58 seconds, I could barely fucking hear you, and there was this all all this shit going on on the internet, uh, in our on our Instagrams like beef back and forth, but then I told him I was like, once it became a new year, like 2021, that's when I was like, dude, let's just squash it. It's fucking stupid. It's SoundCloud beef to people that has like. I think at the moment I had like a hundred follow a hundred followers. Like who the fuck cares? Mm, so we damn. squashed it, and then he ended up being on. Do you know who Jumex is? Jumex, no. Anyway, he's like some industry plant guy. Like he's he's popular because, but he popped out of nowhere. He popped out of nowhere, and he ended up being in a music video with him. And he got pissed at me because there was some com someone commented like you could tell English wasn't their first language by their spelling and they were asking because they filmed the video in the la river mm. and they had like guitars and shit and the person asked if everything was connected and aiden just started being a dick to him out of nowhere in the comments he was like no dumbass how are we gonna have power there so then i just commented a generator and then that's when he started the beef all over again i told yeah. him how you could put fucking power there with the generator and then yeah. he started calling me a pussy and stuff and then Man. he started threatening me um, that's that's how it's been since. Just whatever. Oh man, damn! And that was in 2021, huh? Yeah, man. That all happened in man. 2021. Um, you know, to both of you, uh, Reaper and Agony, you know, we're in a brand new year, 2023. Um, do you feel like you're gonna tackle like this records and beef in a different light going forward? Yes, def definitely. That's the th that was one thing I wanted to talk about. This year, I've never really stuck to dissing, but other than that Aiden diss, but this year, I have a fucking list of people I'm ready to diss. This year, I want the beef. This Okay. <laughs> this, year, this year, I'm ready for the action. Oh, man, you're ready for war. Dude, I'm trying, I'm trying to start it, bro. Like, if you look at New York rap, all these guys are dissing and dissing and dissing. But they're all fucking blowing up off that shit. 
but that's not the reason why I want to do it. I want to do it because I have personal reasons, like something that happened with jo with my cousin. I'm not going to name the group because I don't know if any of them are watching. But a whole group of them jumped him. Mm -hmm. They all jumped him because he was going to beat up one of their homies. So now I'm going after them as a whole group. And I want to, I have whole songs ready for it. Man. Have, okay. I have, I have the beef coming. <laughs> Man. And do you, are you working on records for it now or do you already have that in the chamber? No, I have, we're working on it. We haven't recorded um, anything since, since, um, since he dropped his song. We haven't recorded anything. Man. Okay. So NP Agni, are you like in a, in the same kind of time? As Reaper? Uh not really, but I like you said, I'm ready like for anything, whatever. Like we got each other's back, whatever. Um that one that he was talking about, we might record that. Well he's definitely gonna do it, but I don't know if I'm gonna join in. So we're still trying we're still planning everything out, you know. Okay. And uh we can we kinda discuss how uh MP Reaper does his music. I'll talk yeah. about your setup. Same thing I record. Well, I, I am record only with him. So I use GarageBand and all that. Same thing. Nice. Same thing. Same thing. We record on my phone. We recorded that song on my phone. Yeah. Um, I got to teach him how to do everything still. So at the moment, he's just recording when he's with me. Okay. All right. So we talked about <laughs> you guys uh ready and prepared for this upcoming year do you guys have any other goals set in place um i do well my main goal it's always been bodybuilding so that's the one thing i'm like really into and um also making more music you know trying to just like get my name out there so people can know it whatever and that's basically it my okay. sorry oh, go ahead Mine, the, the, kind of the same thing, but mine is more focused on weight, just losing weight and working on music, trying to get a certain crowd that likes that type of music. Trying to, I want to do some stuff with promotion because I've never done promo. Um, but I kind of want to try promo and see how that works. And if it doesn't, then I'll just try another method because it's really hard. I think one of the hardest things about making music is finding the audience because like I said before I feel like the people you know the closest are the ones that really don't care mm. about your shit because I, I post my shit all the time and they see it they see it every single time but like I don't know if they know or not I could see my insights I could see yeah. pressing shit I could yeah. see who's engaging and like none of them engage mm. so I'm like whatever like yeah, one thing I can say is uh, if you're really serious about your music thing, you definitely got to put some uh, funds into promo. You definitely got to do the right research to make sure the promo is legit. There's a lot of cap out there. Yeah. Yeah, I want to. I think I was going to start off with just Instagram, like sp put the sponsors, like how people can pay for that shit and you start popping up on certain people's feed. I'm going to start with that. Another way that. I see a lot of people's music get out is TikTok. Yeah. Um, TikTok. Yeah, very sure. I feel like TikTok is a place where you could blow up for anything. Literally anything. You could literally like eat a fucking a tube of toothpaste and fucking become famous off that shit. As long as you have the right promo. <laughs> yeah. There's all kind of viral videos out there. <laughs> for real. Um Agony, can you hear me as your thing loading? Yeah, I can hear you, bro. My phone's charging right now. That's all my fault. No worries. Uh, let's talk about some of the inspirations from you guys. Let's go ahead and start with uh, you, Agony. Um, Like I said, I, I got inspired by Reaper and all that. And, um, yeah, basically, that's my only inspiration, to be honest with you, though. I like that. What about you, Reaper? Mine has to be... Honestly, mine has has to be more with older artists like back in 2020 i always said people like x and low peep and shit but not not anymore now that i've kind of grown and i know how my music is i know just that 
them, people like that, they just help me with my feelings. They help me right. think of lyrics and shit. Like, but I can't say they're really inspiration to the music I make. I think more of my inspiration is people like Lil Rob and like people like MC Magic and stuff. Like, it's more Hispanic music more hispanic and then just knowing that one of my uncles he makes music so and i found out that other people on my mom's side of my family also make music i don't remember what their name is but they're in a band that's pretty popular so i feel like it was more just kind of there like music is just part of the dna and then part of the dna i just wanted to start making music Yo, I like that. And I like how you brought yeah. up uh, Lil Rob. And isn't MC Magic from NB Riders? Yeah. 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 I think he started it. Legends, dude. Legends. And uh, I think every now and then I see MC Magic on TikTok lives. Yeah. And MC Magic is still trying to find his way. Man, go. To keep going. It's... I mean, he's doing it. Yeah, he is doing it. Goes right there. I like that. Um, so, yo, I'm tripping right now because, Reaper, you said Switchblade you created in 2020, but, of course, you you know you remastered it. But here on SoundCloud, you have it 13 days ago. Yeah, have I you, just dropped it. Uh, my question is, have you been making or working on your music uh, yeah. lately? Mm -hmm. that, that beat that I sent, yeah. I've recently made that in the past. I think I started it like three weeks ago. I kind of haven't worked on it in like a week, so I'm kind of slacking, but I'm going to finish that. I got to add the effects, then we're going to start recording. I haven't recorded anything recently. I tried recording like two weeks ago, but I haven't since. I have to, but I've been sticking to the producing. So I've done a lot. I've And since that song was made in 2020, I've had two, I've had two albums and shit ton of singles dropped since then, but they've all been taken down. Mm -hmm. they're, they're gone um i want to stay on the topic of your producing you producing beats and whatnot um but i want to talk about phases by you agony um talk mm -hmm. about the story behind that well that was the whole thing it wasn't originally gonna be my song it was one of our old homies songs i uh reaper he helped him out whatever um he Reaper asked him if he wanted to finish it. He said he'll think about it. He never reached back to him. And he just hit me up and said, hey, you want to work on this song? And I was like, yeah, fuck it, I'm down. Um, so the whole story behind it is basically about, like, my, mine and his past relationship. Like, all the, like, heartbreak, all that, like, mistakes and shit we've done in the relationship by going back, back and forth and shit. So that's basically all the songs about just like our past relationships and what we went through and all that and uh mp reaper you did produce that record but what were your thoughts once the song was finished on uh phases i thought it was fucking sick that song that song when when we release it we released that shit on the ninth we released that shit on the ninth that shit was recorded like Shit, when did like they, they like two days before that and then no, like, no 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 we dropped we dropped it like a week later so that shit was recorded like at the end of december i think it was like the 30th 31st yeah. or whatever yeah. and he recorded it the thing is that day he recorded it we finished that song in like we finished that song in like an hour max he recorded like because i had his ass on grind i had his ass on grind because i know how it is as an artist like once you keep hearing him, you're like, fuck, it's not right. You start getting unmotivated, and you're like, fuck mm -hmm. this shit. I was saying, I was like, take a sip of that fucking water and get back to recording. We're going to do this shit right now. <laughs> and he, he, he had like, I don't know, 30 different recordings of it until we found that one. And then he recorded that shit in like an hour. And then my part, the, like, my part at the end, I'm not really that noticeable, but all I'm saying is like the ad lib on like phases. Like you could hear it if you really listen. Um, okay. That, okay. That shit, that shit was already recorded for a while, but his part it was recorded. I mi I mixed and everything, did everything in like an hour, and the song was done that day. And then the next day it was like four a.m. because we just stay up and fuck around. Um, we were bored and we wanted to go out and go for a walk. And I was like, you know what? Let's record a music video. So there's he has a music video for the song that's uploaded on YouTube. 
and we recorded that all in like an hour or two. And I, since I was so dedicated to him, because that was his first actual song. He's had verses on my old songs that never get posted, but that was his official first song. So I was hyped. So I was like, all right, I'm going to finish this tonight. I'm going to finish this tonight. It's not so I, nice. I finished all the editing at like 11 in the morning. Um, I asked for fell asleep until like 5 p.m. or some shit. And then same thing with the song. And SoundCloud, or not SoundCloud, GarageBand actually screwed me over while I was working on that song because I finished editing it. And then I, I exited it out. And then he like came back into the room. I was like, yo, check this out. And I pressed on it. Everything was back the way it was, back to raw, like recording and shit. And I had to do that shit all over again. Dang, GarageBand. Man. That's why it took. That's why it took so long, bro. Because I have my ratio and all that, and my, yeah. all that shit already set up how I so, want it. So frustrating. That sucks. But at least you got it back, you know. I no, I didn't get it back. I had to do it all over again. Well, that's it's what I meant. Yeah. It, it took. It took like thirty minutes. Whatever. And uh, agony. What's we'll up with you? Talk about the process of recording. Like, are you punching in the records? Are you writing? What's that like? Oh, um. Well, I already had the lyrics written down because of Reaper. He told me what to say and all that, so I just wrote it down on my notes. Um, it, it's stressful. Fucking obviously, it's stressful and all that. But it's just a cool, cool experience, you know? It's fun. Yeah. Fun. I like that. Yeah. Keep it fun. That, that shit was recorded right where he is right now. We recorded. You want to show him where we recorded it? Nah, this shit's fucking messy right now, but... We recorded in uh in my room, uh we sitting on some fucking up. long chairs. Clean my shit up, and we just decided five in the morning, four in the morning, uh fuck it, let's record a music video, and we did it. You know, I'm... got it done. I like the uh MP Reaper. What's your recording process like? My recording process is the same how I said earlier, just in the car or just in the room. I'll just like. I'll listen to a beat. I usually listen to some beats online because I used to use YouTube beats like I, like I told you. Yeah. So I used to just get the inspiration and be like, this is fucking sick. I want to record to this because I usually think of a hook in my head and I'm like, okay, this is dope. Let me record this hook and then I can record the rest when I think of it because I, I don't write. I don't write down. I used to write down in middle school, but I don't write no more. I just, I just play the beat and then whatever comes out comes out well okay so you kind of just <clears throat> freestyling it yeah pretty much yeah all songs are pretty much freestyles then and w would you consider yourself like a rap singer yeah kind of i don't really know how to consider myself same thing with like genres i can't really give myself a specific genre because i'm the type i've done it a bunch of times i'm the type like i'll make a song about like murder and then next thing you know i'm dropping a fucking love song like it's kind of it's kind of bipolar. I just make what I like to make. If I want to make a love song, if I want to make a love song, all right. And then if I want to make my next drop to be like a fucking diss, okay, okay, fine. And uh, what about you, MP Agony? Do you do any singing or is it just rap? Oh, uh, honestly, I just do whatever. Like Ivan, he just tells me what type of genre we're doing, and I was, and I I would just be like, I bet I'm down. And it'll, it'll take some time because I don't, I'm like, when we do rapping songs, it, I have trouble because I stutter a lot, you know? And it, it takes a while, and then I get it down, whatever we record. It's ready to drop, all that. Um, yeah. Okay, okay. And uh, MP Reaper, let's go ahead and talk about the producing journey. All right. What about producing? When, when, did, uh, when did the idea the light bulb hit your head where you're like, you know what? Let me start making beats. Uh, oh, that shit, that shit was way before I even started making music. I started that maybe 2017. It was not good. It was terrible. Just like everything else I made back then. But I, I think I started on some app that pretty much like, it gave you loops already. So it was pretty easy to make beats. They're, they're all right. But like after I got an iPhone, I started working with GarageBand. And I started watching videos. And um, when I first started using GarageBand to produce, I started using the Apple Loops. 
And, like, they're pretty fire. Once you actually put them together, they're actually pretty good. So that's pretty much how I started. I just started mixing shit, learned about snares, hi-hats, 808s, all that. And kind of just started I started listening by ear, by ear, just putting some headphones, listen to what I like. And then if I wanted a certain sound, pitch it down. And just kind of gets comes all together at the end. Um. And going forward right now, are you just ma- like mainly focused on self-produced records? Yeah, that's all I want to do. Self-produced or produced by people I know. People that are, are close. Okay. I do not want to work with other producers at the moment. Only because, like I said with the YouTube beats, thousands of people, thousands upon thousands upon thousands are using those beats. Yeah. Like one of them could copyright that beat and your song's taken down that nice. song that you worked on is gone yeah and i hear that i've had that happen to me and that shit would get annoying like i'd upload a song and i'd be like it's fucking copyrighted soundcloud took it down i'm like what the hell like this is literally a free for profit beat just, <laughs> they got you just to find out some fucking artist posted it to a song that has like two fucking views and the song's ass i'm like oh my god this fucking bitch Bit, at least at, at least drop a good song with that shit now i can't fucking use it because <laughs> the shit with soundcloud is you can send a copyright claim telling them like oh it's a it's a free for profit beat and shit like that but the thing is if they don't agree with your shit they could terminate your whole account damn that's wow. why that's why it's super risky doing it because that same thing happened with uh, Agony song. When I first dropped it, you hear the phases where it's like, um, like shit. What's the beginning again? I don't even fucking remember. <laughs> I got uh, it right. I got it right here. All right. Uh, let me. Uh, it, it's this. Oh yeah. This, that part. That that that's a loop. That's that's someone's vocals, which mm. were free, which were free to use. So I was like, all right, dope. I'm gonna make this beat with these vocals. Then it's fucking fire. Someone copyrighted just his voice, and that song had like eight views posted like two years ago. It's like shit. He just made this fucking song right now. Dang. And now, Dang. and I sent I sent SoundCloud this whole thing, and I got it cleared, and that's how it's up now. But, but at first, when he first, when he dropped the song on the ninth of January, um, yeah, we thought it wasn't gonna make SoundCloud because of that whole situation, but they cleared it up, and that was supposed to be a a YouTube only song if we couldn't figure it out, but we ended up getting it on all platforms. Um, what I'm about to say is somewhat related to what you just said. The copyright issue is such a weird thing. Like if I were to take a clip from this podcast, right, and mm-hmm. I upload it onto TikTok, someone can actually take th- that audio and copyright it and we can't even use it. Yeah, we can't even use it and we're the ones that are literally creating it. Yeah. That shit's so stupid. Yeah. I gotta learn more about it. I'm confused on that. I think I think it's stupid. Like the yeah. thing is that you're not even allowed to copyright those things because oh, really? um yeah, you're not because it's like it you, it could be taken into legal action, like with free for profit beats and shit, because that a producer made that. That's the producer's property at the end of the day. Yeah. He's literally giving it out for people to use. Yeah. But in the end of the day, he's still the original owner. It's his shit. So if you copyright it, that's literally illegal. That's his shit. It's like, it's like if I steal your fucking phone. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's your phone. It's the same shit, just online. Yeah, but what's so trippy is that there's always those hidden policies and people be finessing. You know, they read between the lines and they figure out a way, dude. Yeah, they do. <laughs> it's annoying. Uh, but it's a good move, you um, producing your records. Yeah. I like that. That's Go why I also it. wanted to do it because... I do not want to deal with copyright no more. I'd rather produce, and I know what I want to hear. I know what I want to make. I know what type of beat. Like, if I'm like, all right, these are some fucking bars, but I want to find a beat that, like, fits with it. I could just make it now. Just yeah, I like that. Um, with you guys, uh, Agony and Reaper, have you guys ever thought about maybe uh, creating a collab tape? Yeah, we have it. We have it already planned. Yeah. That's, that's one thing is – most of the time we do not have plans like we just go with the flow and i think that's what's going to happen with this collab tape is um it's going to be a 
about our life growing up. It's going to be about everything. It's a picture. I already have the cover made. We have no songs made at all, but the cover's already set. So okay. that's what I'm saying. Like, we just go with the flow. When we find a song and we're like, oh, this is fucking deep, that shit's going to get added on. And mm-hmm. I, I have no, I can't even say how many songs are going to be on it because it just depends on my mood. Yeah. Depends how I feel about it. And shit, that shit could have like fucking four songs. That shit could have 30 songs. That shit could have. <laughs> depends. Depends at the moment. Yo, like. One thing I'll say, um, you know, I've interviewed many artists, and you guys are like one of the first ones to just be like, "We're going with the flow. We go yeah. with our vibes." Do you it's guys feel? Go ahead. Sorry, keep going. I was, I was gonna say, do you guys feel like you've just always been that way growing up? Kind of, because I'm not saying it was by choice. It's probably more because of how we were raised. Because I went through the whole foster care system. I got taken away from my family. So it was like it was not like I really had a choice. It was just like, okay, go with the flow. Mm-hmm. Shit, now I have to go mm-hmm. with this social worker. Got to go to this fucking. I got to go stay at a foster home. Now I got to mm-hmm. now foster family's taking me in. Oh shit! Like now my grandma's gonna come pick me up and I'm gonna live with her. So it's kind of like I have to go with the flow. Okay, this is happening. I realize this is happening, and I gotta go with it. Yo, the hard knocks of life. I like that you're just going with the flow. You're not. You know, a lot of people like to play the victim, you know, mm-hmm. when I get it, you know, we all go through things, but it seems like you guys are just, you guys are keeping up. Yeah. yeah. It's because, it's because I think about it like, this is the way I think about it. Like if something terrible could happen to you, like your fucking, your fucking parents could like literally die in front of you. But at the end of the day, you can't change it. Mm-hmm. They're mm-hmm. gone. Or like at the end of the day, I got taken away from my family. I can't change it. I can't go back to 2010 and be like, no. Like, that shit, that, whether I like it or not, that's how it is. So, might as well just fucking stick with what you got and be happy with what you have. Like, it could have, I think about it, like, it could have been way worse. Could have been way worse. I could have gotten adopted by another family and never been with my actual family again. Or vice versa. My mom could have gotten in a car crash or anything like that. Could have been way worse than I had it. Same thing with him. Like, Man, what a what a trippy and p- positive outlook that you're taking right there. Yeah. What about you, Agony? What are some of your like? Do you view life the same way the Reaper does? Um, kind of like. Oh, we both had troubles growing up and shit, right? I mean, everyone does. Um, he, he had it worse than me. You know, I just had some problems. Uh, parents getting divorced. Um. My father got deported when I was like, what, six, seven? And uh, it's been tough ever since. Like, I grew up, like, I got into, like, gang violence when I was in eighth grade. And I fucking regret all that. Um, Yeah, that's basically all that's happened to me. Okay, okay. And for some some of the, the viewers that are watching now are going to watch later. What is one uh, piece of advice you guys can both give that, that helped you in your life? Don't, not hold, don't hold grudges. Yeah, don't hold grudges and don't get into gang violence. Yeah, don't. It's not, it's not cool. Yeah. It's, it's, actually it's, pretty, it's actually pretty ass. Yeah, because every time I go out now, I have to be, like, watching my back and all that to be aware of my surroundings because of what's happened to me and what – because – um. My dad was gang related, um, so people know who I am, whose kid I am. And every time I go to Casitas, I have people asking me if I'm that person's kid, you know. Mm. And I have to lie sometimes because I, I can I can tell when some sketchy shit's gonna happen. So I have to be lying about who's who my father is and all that. Yeah, mm. that's 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 the shit too. It's like, like I said, even if you're like affiliated already because of family like we both are we're both really yeah. affiliated and it's even confusing with us because like my dad is in a certain gang and then my uncle is in the his rival gang the gang that rivals with him so it makes it even harder because i'm like shit like now they they're they're they're, fr- they're friends literally fucking kill each other and <laughs> they're yeah. part of it man yeah, and then we're just thrown in the middle and um a while ago i was 
was a long time ago. I I was considering like being part of it, but then I realized like it's not gonna do shit for me. It's not gonna do anything because I've seen it like with my dad, with his dad. My dad, same thing. My dad got deported in 2012 because yeah. of the shit. He wasn't he wasn't even an immigrant. He had like his his card and shit, so he was able to be here. And just because he was considered a gang member and. He went to jail for numerous things. They finally got tired of him, deported his ass. Man. Yeah. Um, Reaper Agony, I appreciate you guys giving that piece of advice because, man, people are struggling and they need to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. You really and have also, to. one more thing. No matter what you're going through, don't start doing drugs, bro. Oh, fuck no, bro. Don't, drugs. don't, I think don't so. start smoking none of that. Like, I'm 15 and I started smoking when I was 12. Because of like heartbreak and family issues, all that bullshit, and I regret it. Because I, I, the more you do shit like that, you're just shortening your life. You're just killing yourself slowly. Yeah, don't be doing that. Don't be smoking on anything unless it's Warwick, unless it's the Ops. <laughs> on God, <laughs> on God, bro. Um, you know, drugs is another big thing that you know the youngins and the youth is going through yeah what do you think or what do you think is a good avenue to avoid that just fucking depends doing, who you doing hang shit. out with no 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 no. doing shit i'm telling you because i already went through high school and shit i went through public high school now i'm in a charter school making up everything because i didn't do school when i was in school i used to do the same shit i used to go out and i used to like doing drugs and i used to like drinking and shit that's all i would do with my friends because i thought it was cool but now I'm almost 19, making up 10th grade work. Yeah. Like, it's, it's not even worth it. What I think is just go out. Even if you don't want to, even if you feel sad, go out and find a new hobby. Yeah. yeah. It, it takes a long time, but it, in the, like, at the end of the day, it really does help. In my opinion, it helps. Like, I think that's one of the reasons why I started music. Cause I wanted to do music anyways, but, like, I knew. I wanted to do that and I went for it I, I only had a phone I was like shit I want to record in the studio but I gotta do it on my phone and I found this hobby same thing with skateboarding when I would skate a lot I did that when I was bored or when I was sad or whatever and it helped helped me lose weight it helped me feel better about myself and it helped me clear my mind that's all I could really say about it is just find a new hobby find new friends or just you find something even if you really don't want to leave the house Fuck it. Learn how to fucking edit videos. Learn how to do Photoshop. Let's, yeah. Learn how to... Uh, you have, like, a favorite video game? Learn how to do the fucking cheat codes and win, like, a fucking world record in that shit. Just find something to do. Keep yourself busy. Hey, yo, so, Reaper Agony, man, what I've learned is uh, you guys have gone through a lot, but you guys got each other's back. You're going with yeah. the you're going with the flow. You, you've been giving us some good advice, some good tips for the youth. And um, what is let's take it a little bit even on a more positive note. What is a a cool fun hobby that you guys both do? Um, Agony, you did bring up that uh, you're into uh, bodybuilding, and then yeah. Reaper, you brought up video games as well. Yeah. Um, talk about some of the fun things that people wouldn't know about that that you guys do. Fun things that we do. Uh, All right. One uh, thing. Back then, we used to skate. Like I used to skate. I used. To, I I knew a couple of tricks. I, I was shit, but me and Ivan, every time I'd go out to Simi Valley, whatever, we'd skate all over the place. We'd literally go miles away from where he was staying at. Yeah, that's one thing too. Like I said, with the hobbies, one thing a lot of people don't know about me is I love collecting. Like if you look, if you fucking look at me and my girlfriend's room. And see the shit there. You're gonna see all this shit here. If you come over here, I got a drawer full of just the ghost face shit because I'm addicted to the ghost face shit. I have masks. This fucking mask right here costs like 500 bucks. Yo. Uh, so that's, that's, that's dope. One, that's one big part of me is collecting. And that's something people don't really know, but it was yeah. a hobby I found to help myself and it helped. And shit, now I collect the shit ton of the stuff. Man, you know, I I'm gonna keep on saying it, man. I agree with you all right there, man. It's true. Getting yourself busy in a good hobby or something like that, it's gonna keep you out of trouble. Yeah. yeah. And another thing I do, um, I've been doing it a lot. 
um, is I work on a brand with my homies that my homie, he started that back in like high school. It's called Gnarly Fuck. And we literally make this shit out of the garage. We learned how to do like bleach dye and shit. So like we literally, um, like he does heat pressing and shit. Mm -hmm. And I learned how to sew. I didn't know how to sew for shit. He taught me how to use a sewing machine. And I feel like a fucking grandma sewing in like garage <laughs> but that shit's fun that shit's yeah. fun believe it or not that shit's fun and bleach dye is fun bro we fucking put the cardboard we we make stencils we print out stencils we get that shit cut out professionally with our machine and we fucking paint it on like paint and that shit fucking bleaches whatever you write on it and like we're just running that shit we make masks we fucking make custom belts custom shirts custom pants fucking everything it's just fun it's fun it's cool and we like selling shit and we like making like an alternative style mm, i like that and uh how how much of you guys is like the, you, you guys go with the flow you guys are having fun is that how you're viewing your your music career yeah i don't have a plan i don't um i know a lot of artists do because they have a have a like a, a vision of what they want with their music but at the end of the day the way i think about it is you can have the vision all you want but in reality it's harder than you think because i think about it like there's me like you're in, you're interviewing us right now there's probably thousands of other people on instagram doing the same shit thousands of other people that want to become the next big interviewer or next big artist yeah. or anything and that's why i think like you gotta just yeah i think you gotta start with getting the attention of your community first because shit there's millions of other people trying to do what i'm doing right now the same thing uh, with, same thing with what you want to do like like right now it could be starting like this but there's millions of other people that are trying to get a whole studio dedicated to what you're doing or what i'm doing or what he's doing or anyone joining the live like fucking you want, or like the shirts like i said we making the clothing Millions of other people trying to do that shit right now, wow. trying to make it big. And you just got to go with the flow yeah. and hopefully, hopefully shit works out. Sometimes it's not. And sometimes you just got to go with it. There's nothing you could do about it. Now, if it was so e easy to make it, everyone would make it. Very true. If it, was, if it was so easy to make money, everyone would be fucking billionaires right now. That's the shit. You just got to go with it. You got to see if you have an advantage, no matter if you're scared or not, you got to take it. Because it's it's not that easy to get advantages. It's not that easy to get, like, fucking... It's not even, like, with studio time. Studio's 50 bucks an hour. Like, if you got the money and you don't know what to spend it and you're dedicated to music, go use that time and go fucking make a track. Professionally. Go get that shit professionally done. Fuck it. If you do that and then you do a little promo, you, you don't know. Maybe a radio station's going to hear it. Maybe they're looking through their Instagram... And you pop up on their on their sponsors. Mm. There's mm. there's mm. shit like that that could happen to anyone. Man, you gotta go with it. Yo, that that part it's got to get clipped right there because that's perfect. It's so true. There's so many other people doing exactly what we're doing. And you just gotta go with the flow, and the stars align, and it's your time. Yeah. You know, uh, I I highly agree with you on just you know having fun with it going with the flow because that's what i'm doing here with the podcast and whatnot mm -hmm. just having fun with it you know i think that's best uh, yeah because uh, you don't want to you don't want to make it feel like it's a chore like it's a job yeah, yeah. i've never i've never wanted music to feel like fuck i gotta drop another track already i don't want to do this shit like i want it to be good i want it to be fun i'm not here i'm not here trying to give myself an extra job i'm just trying to do it for my life for people that listen to it, it's like yeah and that's why that's why i think about it why am i gonna stress about shit i gotta pay for more promo shit yeah. or like like shit i gotta do this and top this artist i'd rather just go with the flow and then if something happens it happens and if it doesn't then it doesn't then you just gotta wait thank you i like that um so reaper yeah. agony uh we got a lot of good stuff from you guys. Is there anything that you would like the viewers to know that we didn't touch on? Mm. Let me think. Real Not really. Quick. Honestly. I don't know. I think just the stuff I was talking about, like, just go 
the flow. Just don't yeah. stress it. Don't make yourself. Don't stress over shit that doesn't be stressed over. I think that I think that's not only with music, but just everything. Like people stress yeah. about school and shit. Like don't stress it. Just go with the flow. It's gonna work. Mm-hmm. It's gonna work. Think about it. There's been billions. No, millions, millions of people decades and decades and decades ago that have been doing the same shit you're doing right now. If they did it, you could do it. Just go with it. Go with the flow. Don't stress over that mm. shit. Don't mm. stress over fucking bills. Okay, fuck. Just fucking try to figure out how to make money. Don't be stressing because that time you're wasting stressing out, uh, you could be figuring out how to make that money. Yeah. Or you could be figuring out a fucking... A quick like job. Fuck shit. You guys shit sitting around. Put that shit up for sale. Maybe you can make yeah. some quick money. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That part. Going back on the on stressing over stupid shit. Don't be stressing over girls, bro. That's everyone should know this. Don't be stressing over girls, cause they come and go. I think it's vice versa. Don't if a relationship is stressful, it's a sign that this shit's not gonna last. It's already if, if your partner is already stressing out, like over big, big shit, not little shit. Like fuck, what is there? What are we gonna eat? Like I'm talking about like big shit. That's just not gonna work. It's a fucking sign. I've seen it happen multiple times with my mom. Mm. I've seen it happen multiple mm. times with my dad. I've seen it happen multiple times with family members and close friends and shit. It's never gonna fucking work. And you just gotta accept it. That's how shit is. Yeah. You, you gotta go with it and be like, "All right, now you gotta better better yourself." And it's gonna hurt, so that's when you gotta figure out another hobby. Yo, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt sometimes, but avoid the stress. That's a that's a key highlight of this podcast right here, um, ladies and gentlemen. We have MP Reaper in the blue, MP Agony in the red. They both got records on SoundCloud. Switchblade by MP Reaper and Phases by uh, MP Agony. They're out right now. Um, you guys, do you want them to go anywhere else? Any social media platforms? Go ahead and let them know. Um, all socials is MP Reaper, except for I don't think anyone really cares about Twitch. <laughs> that's just that's yeah, yeah, that's a, Other than the that, only platform that our names are like the same. It's just our Twitch account. Other than that, yeah. All right, Matt Dope, you guys, thank you for uh, blessing up her radio, getting to know you guys. Um, you know, all in due time, we'll get you guys for a second one. Like you said, just go with the flow. I'm going to keep on watching. And uh, mm-hmm. thank you for your time. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Yeah, we can do it again. We can do it again, like, another six months or some shit. Yeah. Mad love. Mad love, guys. Thank you so much. Right. Everybody that's going to watch later or watching right now, definitely check out their catalog. MP Reaper, MP Agony. Thank you for watching Up for Radio. Y'all have a good one. God bless you, bro. Peace. Later, bro.